Hello everyone, I am Ilian from DM Trading Bulgaria. I'm a trader and a coach here and today the time has come for me to share another trading plan with you. Uh, as usual, we are going to cover a few different time frames. Uh, today we are going to look at the Euro USD currency pair and this will be a more short term trading plan. Uh, so we'll look at the H4 time frame, then the H1 time frame, and uh, our entries will be placed either on the M30 or on the M15. So let's get started. As you can see, I have already marked a few areas on the chart. Uh, first thing first, here we have this H4 resistance area. This is the H4 time frame. And you can see how the pair reacted from that zone uh, before even here. Uh, so after touching that zone, uh, we saw a huge downtrend uh, most of the times. This is on the H4, so this is a good downtrend. Uh, as you can see here, uh, again, the price touched uh, this zone and you can see how the bears just uh, crashed the market down on this candle. It made a huge, uh, the last candle made a huge whip on top of it. So my expectations are for this uh, H4 resistance area to hold and the price to make a new downtrend wave. Uh, not only that, but here on this wave, uh, the price actually broke this previous top here. So uh, this is kind of a confirmation that we are uh, entering into a downtrend. So I expect for the next wave to uh, go further down than here. Now, I also marked uh, two H4 support areas. Uh, the first one is here. Again, due to the reaction of the price from this area. Here. Here, and actually even here. You can see that this area acted as a strong resistance area. And uh, we can count this even a reaction, although it, uh, the area was broken here. Uh, the price was quickly pushed above it again. So this will be our main, uh, first target uh, if we manage to open a trade on the lower time frames. And this will be our second target, target, this H4 support here. You can see how the price bounced from there and uh, the huge waves it did after that. Even here, which is actually went all the way to the H4 resistance here. So those uh, will be our targets. Uh, I expect this area to hold and let's go to the H1. Now on the H1, I, as you can see, I already marked uh, the previous bottom the price made over here on this wave down. So uh, this is the area which I will be looking at closely and my expectations are for this area to be broken and the price to continue further down reaching to this H4 support or even going uh, below it and probably to this H4 support in a more long-term matter. Now, uh, a few things here. Uh, the, for me, I will be looking for two possible scenarios. Uh, the first one is for the price to actually um, move back up here to this H4 resistance and then to make a new downtrend wave to this H4 support. Now this is the first scenario and the second scenario is uh, for us to see a break of this H1 bottom here uh, for the price to reach to this H4 support area and then uh, to bounce from it reach back to this H1 uh, bottom which was which when broken will become a resistance and then move further down below this uh, H4 support area here. So uh, both of these scenarios are good for us. Uh, I'll be looking for possible entries on two spots either here if the price retraces back up to this H4 resistance or if we see a break since here it's kind of too late to enter uh, since the H4 support is pretty close and we'll be risking a lot uh, just to take 
uh, very uh, few uh, profits from the market. So a better uh, position would be to wait for the correction and look for possible entries here. Now again, if we see a huge break of this, I'm quite certain that even if the H4 support is broken, it will become a resistance and we'll have a correction there. So that, that of course, is a third option if uh, neither of those work out. As I said, we'll probably be looking for entry on the M15 uh, or M30. Uh, now it really depends what will happen, uh, which scenario will happen. Uh, so on both spots here and here, we can look for uh, possible engulfings or a small cons consolidation, uh, which bottom is broken or whatever are you using for uh, entry sign on. Now here, if we look for an entry, our stop loss should be placed above this H4 resistance, uh, just in case. And if we are looking for an entry here, again, it should be placed above this uh, previous bottom. Now don't, get, don't uh, put it too close here, as uh, we might see a spike, just uh, taking all the stop losses and then moving down. So it's better to place it a little bit uh, further up, like somewhere here. This is it on this plan. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you will follow the trading plan. And most importantly, uh, our team hopes that we will be able to make some profits on it. And uh, you will be able to make some profits on it. Uh, live signals will be posted on our Telegram channel. So join now if you haven't. There is a link below this video. And also on our Twitter page. So follow us there for uh, news regarding our content. Thank you very much and we wish you a profitable week.